Aries, how you doing? Welcome to Soulvine Guidance. This is Jamie. We're going to check in for your energies for the week ahead. So let's see what is going on and what you need to know to support your journey. All right, let's connect in, shall we? This is Sun Moon Rising energy. This is a timeless and general read. So only take what resonates. And this could be vice versa energy, or you could be on different timelines. So let's have some fun and connect in and see what we can get you to support you right now. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. It's like you're in a really good place or working towards just building on your finances right now. Maybe you've been taking, you know, some time out for you, really focused on your goals and what you want to achieve, okay? But there's something here about being concerned around finances or whether this is um, making the right approach because maybe there could be some things that you're leaving behind, Um it could be people that you're leaving behind. Maybe they're making you feel like by you making certain choices, they don't feel valued enough. I don't know. I feel like there's some other people that you're considering here in terms of what you're doing. Um, or maybe you've just turned someone down. You know, Nine of Pentacles 2 could be a single energy or, you know, going solo, doing your thing. Uh, but there's something about plans here. Or not taking action towards something because you're really assessing the environment or the situation. Uh, it could be too for some of you and being Aries that if you are working on something, a project or towards something, it's kind of like don't procrastinate for too long here because any procrastination could see you lose out um, or something not working out the way that you may hope. So let's dive in a little bit deeper and see what else we need to know here with this Nine of Pentacles energy. Yeah, it's like you're being asked to take a chance here on something that has already been proposed to you. And the reason I feel it's already been proposed to you um, is because of the way that the fool is looking. There's something here that maybe you didn't take a chance on or you're asking to, to look at what's what's been presented but you could also be assessing going well when you took a chance on something before uh, maybe it didn't feel quite right and it's something that you're still working on to to figure out for yourself uh, here with the temperance energy so I don't know if there's some form of healing occurring or you just don't feel you're in the right place right now but interesting Aries as you know you know, there's no perfect time. The, the time is, is when you feel connected to it and just taking that chance on yourself or taking that chance on the opportunity. It's like, would you rather have regrets not doing it or have regrets that you at least tried? And I feel there's something around this or about this to, to really consider here. Uh, two of Wands, what do we need to know? Two of Wands. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles and everything is fine. I mean, this could make sense, like I said, why there's this little bit of, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a sense of hesitation and I'm not sure what this hesitation is for you, but it could be because there has been a situation that while you are like, you're not in the thick of it, like it's something that you've already worked through. I feel there's parts of you that as you start taking direction towards someone or towards something that you still don't feel balanced enough or in the right place to pursue it. So there's something about this. But what I do see is that there's something pretty magical showing up here with this Queen of Pentacles, something that seems very stable, very trusting, very warming. Um, and I feel for some of you, this could be the time to drop an old story. You know, sometimes we hold on so long to it that it's like, we keep retelling this story and keep, I don't know. It's like, I heard this one time from one of, there was someone presenting and one of the key things is kind of like the knife in our back and talking about like, we keep it in there as a little bit of um, a reminder to, to self or that 
proof of our story and our hurts and our wounds. But there's got to be a time and a place like spirit knows what you've been through. God knows what you've been through. You know what you've been through. And it's like an old story that I feel like kind of needs to let go a little bit because it's not allowing you to progress the way that you want to progress. It's putting you more in a sense of depletion than acceleration. And you've got great opportunities here right now, Aries. So I don't know what that applies to for you, but I feel like that's being called upon right now to kind of let that go. Um, Five of Pentacles, what do we need to know here? Yeah, because it, it's again, it's like some burden that you're carrying here. You've got opportunity. You've got something pretty stable showing up here um, for you. A lot of abundant energy, but there's still something that's draining or not allowing this to grow into its full potential here with this Ten of Wands. What else do we need to know? Page of Wands. Because I feel there's a, there's good news, there's good good communication or some interesting information that's going to come your way that's going to allow you to make progress. We can see it's progress here with the page, but it's 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 small. But I feel dropping these burdens or this view of something um, that you're. I feel there's some, you not, may not realize, like something's blocking your progress forward. We can see this with everything is fine, five of pentacles and ten of wands. So what what is that? And I feel once you do that piece of communication, that, that comforting news, that excitement in direction is when it will show up in that you actually will start paying attention because I think it's already here, but you're not paying attention because you're still playing some narrative or old story or still feeling a wound from something that has, I don't feel this, I feel this wound is obviously relevant to you, right? At the end of the day, I understand, you know, pain is pain, but sometimes we carry it with us, even though it's something that's happened sometime before there's a difference from a healing perspective that we have to work through things and we need time to heal on those but then there's also like I said ones that we carry with us and with love and I'm not trying to I just want to say this for how it is for some people it's like a safety as it's safe as a victim of this to give excuses of why we're not progressing or why we're kind of standing still and I just feel like this part of that story needs to be shed here. And I'm saying that with deep love here, Aries. But for some of you, it's like a truth that we need to acknowledge. Because if you want the success that you want, if you want the life that you want, if you want this abundance that you want, that's what's got to change. That's what's got to kind of be rewritten here for you to better your life in your best interest in becoming the person that you're meant to be, that you, is your God given gift to do the work that you're meant to do. Okay. And I feel that's a very important message for someone here. So let's have a look at, um, what's the influence here and can best support you and what you need to know. Let's get influence here on what you need to know. Four Aries, what do we need to know? So Queen of Inspiration and Muse of Emotions. So this is talking about getting really defined on your goals here and start moving towards them, okay? Uh, intuitively, I feel like there's something here. Again, I'm getting past energy. Remembering your powerful decisions in the past your victories what you have what you know and how you can start bringing that in it's remembering the stories that are supportive for you if you're going to remember any story what you've overcome how brilliant you are what attracts people in this is very much your energy here with this queen of inspiration right um don't look at the masculine and feminine part but what you're being called on is this part of stepping into it walk in the walk and but bringing in the right energy the right people the right things for to allow things unfold you've got a lot of experience behind you um so i just feel like this is not new for you okay in addition to that we've got the muse of emotion so this is you know coming from a place of being emotionally strong and just knowing how to, to work with something and deliver something. But I feel this is part of you being in balance with yourself and in connection with yourself. This could be a counterpart that you're working with, um, being a king and queen energy. Um, let's get a little bit more here on the influence here. 
I think you you might find someone if they're not in your life already, maybe coming into your life that's going to help support support this path for you, Aries. Yeah. It's like someone who has probably been on a similar journey um, and understands understands this journey with this seven of inspiration, right? It's kind of like uh, you've had the victory at some point. You've had the wins. You've had the accolades. And now it's like standing in your truth and what you believe in and setting those new like being okay to set the, those new boundaries or those new um positions for yourself in your life on where you want to be and what you want and what you desire and communicating that in truth and i feel like there's something about it but it's taking action towards it and i just feel this person is going to create a safe space for you to fully express yourself and and go towards something that you really do believe in so i really like this for you but it could be just you coming into yourself um um, on an emotional level and on a passionate pursuit level so um you know i mean connect into what or who that may be for you but like i said this could be someone new coming on in so let's have a look at the potential outcome here and what you need to know okay we've got a lot of energy showing up so we've got two of voices, queen of materials. So we can see again, still being in choice and decision. We've got queen of materials showing up twice here. So what is it that you're not sure about in a sense of stability here or a sense of like, is it someone that you're not trusting or you're not sure about? There's something here to do with this queen of materials, queen of pentacles or something that's holding you back from moving forward into that. Let's have a look a bit deeper. Four of inspiration, the fool, and then we have uh, the temperance energy. So I feel you're being called down this path. Like this path is meant for you. There's a, there's a deeper reason for this. Um, and taking a chance here. But again, you've got, I want you to look at this. You've got the full and the temperance energy again showing up here. Okay. So there's something about taking a chance here, but also something about, I feel like the temperance energy too is a reminder that things are in, in cycle. Things are in certain flow. Not everything has to be revealed or come out immediately. I think there's a certain path or journey as part of this leap forward that, Things will come into balance. Things come into like certain motion of when knowing what energy we need to put into something at the right time for it to amalgamate. Okay. And I feel like this might be something that maybe you need to learn about yourself. It doesn't need to be all in, go hard. It's like, how can you take a bit more of, yep, I'm going for this, but I'm going to take a bit more of a different approach. Um, so I feel like something around this, because you're being called here, there could be a connection. Um, there could be an event or a situation, but something that you're meant to be on, a path that you're meant to be on here, um, that I feel, yeah, is just really, really relevant right now for you, Aries. Okay. So... I'm going to leave that with you and I look forward to connecting with you next week. If you feel connected to this, please like subscribe to connect to you next time. Bye now.